Hello, welcome along to the Sports Tonight film show. Uh, and it's a special film show because it, it captures everything, the essence of everything that probably you lot are out there as well, which would be, generally speaking, football horses and pubs. I think I've summed it up quite nicely. It is almost the holy trinity. And I should introduce you alongside to me here are the uh, four gentlemen very much part of the entire process. To my immediate left here, Mark Baxter. Alongside him, his fellow cohort in terms of writing, Paolo Hewitt, and then a couple of young fellas, a <laughs> couple of young boys who come into the process a little bit later on, Callum McNabb and Jason Mazza. Gentlemen, welcome along. Thank you very much indeed for coming. Right. Uh, we will be spending plenty of time talking about the film, but also about the wacky world of football, which I know that you all have a direct affinity with. Um, but just so that you get a general idea of what we're talking about, here is the trailer for the brand new film coming out April the 27th, Outside Bet. <laughs> Can I have your attention, please? Have any of you ever considered buying a racehorse? Could be a life changer. Do you want your life changed then, Bax? Oh, look at me. What, direct? He's not bad. I reckon we can get him for a grand each. I'm in. But you know what I'm in, Bax? I was planning on wasting that on luxuries, like food. <laughs> Cheer up. We own a racehorse. We are now officially somebody. Don't oh. ask. Ask her out, you idiot. The last fella took her shopping in New York. I can maybe stretch to the Asda in Blackheath. We're all potless. It's a good job we're all going to win a fortune on the knack. God, it's a lot of money, Mark. It's everything I've got. Are you mental? That's thousands. Just shut up and look hard. I always look hard. It's what you decide to do to make you a winner, Mark. And they're off. Maybe I just can't stop looking around corners. When you find what you're looking for, how will you know? <laughs> there you go. It's called Outside Bet, and as you can see, as much as anything else, horses, chat, banter, fun, frolics, but also the younger generation and the older generation of performers. You go away from these two fellas here, and you've got Bob Hoskins, Jenny Agatha. You can't believe it, Phil Davis. What a setup. And, and, but the nice thing about it, gentlemen, is that it's got a great starting point as a story. And, and, and I suppose the place we best start is, is with the two Baxes sitting in front of me. Which is Mark here, who was the original Baxter, of course. Yes, indeed, yep. And then Callum, who becomes, uh, and you can actually the see why. Yeah. The impersonator. Absolute spitting yeah. image. I, but the problem I had there was I was looking and I thought, hold on. I was Double vision. Sort of a little bit confused. You got Double vision, vision. Yeah. Yeah. I did. Easily done. Let's, let, let's, let's go back to Ground Zero. It's probably the easiest place to start then. Where does this whole story start? Uh, 2007, just um, started writing stories down from my childhood, which was always based in pubs. And, you know, my dad was a pub singer, club singer. He started taking me to pubs about 12, well, it was 12, 13. Loved the culture, loved the people, good characters, funny. My dad then sadly died in 2000. But I, 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 before even he died, I had the stories going around my, my head about just do documenting that time and uh, being around those people. And, I, and it's something I really wanted to do. And then I, previously, I looked up with Paolo when we did a book called The Fashion of Football in 2004. So I had a little exposure to the publishing world. So I had these ideas. I thought, I'm going to try just write the stories down. Never written a book before. Not quite sure, wasn't quite sure how it all worked. So um, we was doing it as almost like a chapter at a time. So that's where Paolo jumped in, yeah. because, because obviously Paolo, you know, that's your world, isn't it? The, wor the world of journalism, Apparently the so. world of all three. Apparently so. Indeed it is. Um, <coughs> and... We're, we're developing the story here, of course, and developing characters, which, of course, is, is, is interesting in its own right. Mm. But you've, you've got the, the, the plot, and, and you've got a horse in there as well. Yeah. Now, when, when you're doing this, yeah. you've got to get to the point where you're thinking to yourself, that, you know, it, it, it's going to have to get to that point where you're going, like, is he going to win? Is he not going to win? We're yeah. not going to give up the way, but... Yeah. With this is upbeat, isn't it? Let me put it that way. Yes. Well, <laughs> well, well, well most uh, things have to be. You know, yeah. pe people need... You know, you, you, you have to go out on a happy ending. So, um, we did. <laughs> <laughs> say no more. In, in, in a way of saying no more, and yet saying so much. But I, 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 but I, think, that's a, I, I think that's a good thing. Gentlemen, then you two. Oh, okay, now, now we're at the film. So, so first of all, um, 
you two chaps are going to be kind of you're setting you're like Damien Hurst kind of installation, aren't you? Set in the eighties aspic there somewhere because this is going to be people to know your faces from from football films anyway, won't they? Yeah, they will. Rise of the Foot Soldier for yeah. you, and yeah. I've done two. I've done the firm in the Football Factory as well, and a little bit in Rise of the Foot Soldier as well, actually. Yeah. So I've done them all. <laughs> it's it, yeah. have, you got, yeah. have you got those kind of faces? Yeah, I must have. He's got a pretty um, face, so I don't I'm know how he's in no, no, so no. many of these movies. Yeah, but they're yeah. the scary ones, aren't they? Because yeah, they lull yeah. you into that full yeah. Yeah. face. Assassin. Exactly. Yeah. Soul Shark. That yeah. see you. <laughs> you are, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> There's yeah. something, there is something like faintly Norwegian as well, I thought. They you've got going on there, wasn't it? Well, yeah, so sort of from the Highlands of Scotland, they're all Vikings. It's all there. No, it's all there. It is all there. So. It's interesting in the, in the sort of like the broad stroke of the film from that point of view, lads. It is interesting because you you are involved in that kind of like that, that British film industry where which can be tough and gritty and urban. Yeah, but this is this is good time, isn't it? Well, that's what you're excited me about. I'm sure Callum's the same, but we sort of have done uh, them films. I mean, and sometimes you know British films do get a bit of a not bad press, but they are no. can be quite gritty. I, I mean, I, I'm a massive fan of British film. I, yes. I, you know, I love them, but. Sometimes, you know, they people do go, look, it's another gritty film, it's another sort of, you know, depressing, downbeat, gritty British film. But but this one, I think, is the complete opposite to that, really. It's got a real, you mean, these guys have done a great job and it's got a real beautiful heart to it and yeah. it's about friendship and it's, you know, yeah. you know, and it, it's just it's, it's, it's just a really beautiful story. So that, that's what excited me to, to get involved. Yeah. Yeah. It's, a po it's a positive story about working class people, which yeah. we don't see. In films, I don't. Do you know what it's the, the word the, or the, the phrase might arguably old fashioned? Yeah. We, we, but I, yeah. I, 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 old, which old, I have no moral dilemma with at it's all. Old, yeah. It's old yeah. working yeah. class. It's where yeah. the world you're from. It's, it's a mix. It's a great mixture, isn't it? Sort of the earth. Yeah. 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 Even yeah. when I was writing it, I was sort of kept thinking back to the sort of eating comedies like Passport People Code, which I love them films. So I kept thinking, why can't you? Update it, obviously update it, but you can still grab get the sort of general ethos, which is good. You know, nothing really bad that really yeah. happens. It's just a. And what a did nice you go and see? Which yeah, the, 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 the tipping point was uh, was it called History Boys? <laughs> the History Boys, <laughs> <laughs> the National well, memorable, yeah, obviously, yeah, memorable, yeah. Uh, memorable <laughs> play. Uh, yeah. for some reason, but yeah, went to see yeah. the History Boys. <laughs> yeah, and I was because I was writing this book and I had no idea really what I was doing. I was trying to write seven characters speaking in a pub. The dialogue, and I, I had the words, and I knew the banter, but I just couldn't think of the, the way of it working. I was watching the play. I got a ten pound ticket, and when I, when I saw it, got that much. Yeah, and yeah. halfway through, it, I said to the missus, "I've now got it." So, Mr. Adam Bennett, really, he's the uh, the inspiration. <laughs> inspiration behind this. He, he called too me. He called me the next day, and he said, "I'm going to write a play." I'm just sitting in the history <laughs> book. I, I can't be that odd. I thought you can't be that odd. Yeah, exactly. I just like you to go and see, get ten pounds in for cats then, because because <laughs> well, you two, you know, <laughs> prancing around in leotards, <laughs> telling the story of like this arc of South London boots wouldn't make musical. sense. Next yeah, one. Yeah, <laughs> it's only a matter of time. Yeah. It's only a matter of time. Yeah, a bit of new age sort of theatre yeah. coming on I like there. That, like, that could yeah. make sense. You two are the you two are the buddies in, aren't you? Uh, yeah. Obviously, and the point I make, I've kind of got there, is, is you're the your backs. I played Mark, yeah, yeah. many years ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, not that long ago. About six stone ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was going to be kinder than that. Yeah, but, quite right too. But the, the friendship was there as well. I mean, it, it was, is it nice to be able to just, in that kind of situation, play a part, you know, work with a dialogue in which you do just to kind of get to just a knockabout fun? Well, because it was like um, pub dialogue anyway, which was mm. where Mark picked up writing stories in the book from, it was kind of easy, that banter anyway, yeah. you know what I mean? It was like, it was there there for us, so it was quite easy to kind of pick that straight up. We yeah. didn't have to falsify any of that. And, it, and it's kind of, see, I don't know if this, uh, you, please, please tell me, because I don't know if it sometimes could be a problem or an absolute bonus, is the fact that a lot of the language is your language. I mean, let's be honest, you know, we, I mean, we, I think we all speak of the same tongue. Let's, yes. I think we can safely yes. say that in this... The Queen, well, we I speak the Queen. In, in this, in this, work, in this <laughs> crescent that we are here. That. You know, he has no <laughs> idea of which, <laughs> of which we speak. Really? Woking. <laughs> is there a, do you find it easier as actors to because basically kind of using your own tongue, using your own rhythms? Is that a, is that a, a, a preference, or would you rather as a as an actor kind of like you know go completely out of character? I think there's about four different questions there, but I think in terms, <laughs> kind of general, in, yeah. in, terms, in terms of in terms of you know uh, is it easier? Yeah, um, but also I think you know that's just it's just to do with good writing really you know yeah. when you and that's as I can appreciate that as a, as a you know a London born actor I think when you read that script and you straight away you know if that dialogue's come from a real place and a place of truth and I think yes 
they did that, and that's what excites. You know, when you read that, you go, yeah, this is bang on the money. This is this is come from a place of truth, and yeah. and you know, and if you haven't got a script that's like that, then you're working hard to sort of either adapt it if the character, you know, you're working hard to adapt it. Do you know what I mean? I suppose but that's a massive point. It's, it's, it's okay if it's your own tongue, if it feels right, yeah. but if it's someone false feeding you kind of phrases and language, yeah, yeah. well, would if you? something doesn't quite sound right, it was fortunate that we know that world very well. Wasn't yeah. too far away from us, so we could pick up on that straight yeah. away, and we. The, the guy who directed the film, Sasha Bennett, was open enough for us to say, look, you know, can, can I change this word to that way or change it round a little bit and to make it more natural, and yeah. which which we've done sometimes, but we didn't really need to because it was all there. It was all there. When, yeah. when Mark sent, started sending me the chapters, that, that's what got me excited. Which really, you talk about, you, you you're, the language for you yeah, is the, the thing, dialogue was, was so, it was just there, you could see it. It was just brilliant. Because mo most other, when I write a book, I, I like to read around it. The only book I could find was Last Orders by Graham Swift, yeah. which was all right, but it didn't have the banter. It didn't have that, you know, that human element, you know, which is there the whole time. And that's that's what excited me. Mark was sending me this stuff, and it was it was gold. It was absolutely. And I priceless. suppose that, that what's useful for you is that you know, as a, as a sort of like you know, first time writer, yeah. rather than sort of like trying to paint <coughs> pictures with words. To simply just remember conversations I mean, must I'll, be the easier way to go. I was a soaked in that company for like 25 years, literally sat there for 25 years listening to these stories and these people. But also I worked at the print when I first left school. And it was like I was going drinking on a Sunday and then spending the entire week with the same sort of people. You know, old working, cl yeah, well, <laughs> old working class guys who had million stories and have some, you know, really funny people, characters really. And I loved that and I sort of picked up on those people. I, I, love, I love them sort of people anyway. So really, I mean, even when I was writing it, I, I, you know, I could, I could hear the voices. I would actually, yeah. I could, actually, it, it was speaking to me very easy for me to write. I mean, even like, when, I, when I first met Mark, <coughs> he used to talk about this and he used to say to me that he wished there were four cameras yeah. at that table of a Sunday. He said, yeah. you wouldn't believe the dialogue. I just think, oh, what's he on about? Well, yeah. of course, nowadays there would be CCTV stuff. because, of course, of yeah. the criminal activity. I don't think they're allowing the flying Dutch from now. No, 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 no. It's the last thing you'd need. Okay. They'd sell them. <laughs> Outside Bet is the film. We're going to be talking about that a little bit more after the break. Welcome back to the film show, Outside Bet Special. I should introduce you once again here. Mark Baxter and Paolo Hewitt, the authors of the book The Mumper. From whence came the film Outside Bet, which is Callum McNabb and uh, Jason Mazza, who are two of the stars of that. An ensemble cast, gentlemen. Rarely seen nowadays in the cinema is, is I mean, what a bunch of fellas and ladies they've got together for this one. You, it must have been delightful when you saw the other names that were cropping up on this. It was brilliant, unbelievable, yeah. Really good. Yeah. Give us, a, t tell us who's a, who's a, who's in this. Dudley Sutton, Bob yeah. Hoskins, Jenny Agata, Phil Davis, Rita Tushenham, Perry Benson, yeah. Adam Deacon, yeah, <laughs> Emily Attack. I mean, yeah. the list goes Jason on. Jason Mazar, Callum McNabb. Nice yeah. work, well, lads. Well yeah, played. See how we've done that. Got yeah. to they you do that on the one show, in don't they? Yeah. Terry Stone. 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 I'm very yeah. uncomfortable with that style yeah. of introducing each other. Oh, <laughs> really? No, it just Cut feels, that out, then, feels, yeah. feels weird. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, never do it again. That's all I'm saying. No, but no, it was it was sort of that thing. What I think is really nice about the film as well is that you sort of got this generation of unbelievable actors, and hopefully. With a, a, a sort of a young generation of actors, Why? really. I mean, the nice thing is the story dictates it has to go that way, doesn't it? I mean, because I mean, because there's the inherent nature of what of what you two came up with is is you wanted that cross generational thing, didn't you? Yeah, we're not, we, we were sort of playing fantasy films about five years before it ever, <laughs> ever thought about, it. and they were saying, "Who would you like to play your dad? Who would you want it?" And I was saying, "Phil Davis, me dad." Seriously, you called Phil Davis. I was, early, and, and, I, and I had no, I had no input in it at all. And I, I thought I'd always loved his work. I thought, especially Vera Drake, I've always He's loved obviously that film. saying Callum McNabb. Yeah, yeah, immediately. Like, okay, you. The kid, the kid, well, the firm. Before you were yeah. born. That's right, yeah. <laughs> but also, like, you know, obviously, the names like Oskins, I mean, when, once he was attached to it, well, I was just made up. I was, I was, for me, he's perfect for it. Yeah. Growing up as a, a London actor, they're the sort of people, you know, people like Bob and, and Phil, yeah. you sort of look to them as like your inspirations, and Absolutely. they're the ones that make you go, you know, with them two and, and Michael Caine and, and Ray Winston, that you sure. sort of, they sort of give you, not hope, but they go, you can do this. Yeah. Do you yeah. know what yeah. I mean? Inspiration, you very yeah. good point. Inspiration, yeah. Inspiration, yeah. Inspiration, you know, so, and, and, you know, with Bob and, and Dudley, he's just, you know, it's a dream sitting there. And, you know, I'm not even just saying it, it was amazing. No, it was Look brilliant. at Bob doing his thing and he's 
Just yeah, on the money. It, you know, in real life, people who don't get to be in the acting trade, you know, you know, you, you, you'll sometimes be if you're around your, your your peers, you can be a little bit nervous. I mean, are you like that as actors? You know, when you realise the people you, you're working with, are you a little always bit nervous around Callum? That's always. <laughs> 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 I always get, he's so lovely though. He's lucky. He's lovely because I always get a bit easy. Isn't that all that yeah. he gives off? Yeah, yeah. Just, you know, it's a bit. You know, but luckily, it's that intimidating face on it. It is. It's right. It's tough. Yeah, yeah. daunting. Yeah. yeah. That's that's what, it that's is, what you yeah. are, yeah. I'm shaking in my boots. <laughs> 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 but luckily, he's very sweet with it. Yeah. I mean, he's not, you know. Sure. Yeah. Well, we yeah. was lucky. They're all, they're all really lovely people. I think uh, what I've found is the, the higher class or the mo more famous, I suppose, if you like, yeah. people that I've met are generally the, the nicest people. It's normally the people that haven't really done much. <laughs> all right. <laughs> that's that's quite interesting, awkward. Matt. Yeah, no, yeah. the people that Good are, life lesson, Callum, Matt. Yeah, yeah right, no, I yeah, think yeah. like the likes of Bob and Jenny, they, they couldn't have been... Nicer. They were really lovely. And, and and I suppose the the thing what you need them to do is enter into the spirit of it, don't you? Really, because of course you know it isn't um, a, a twenty million dollar no. Hollywood budget film. Uh, you know, it's 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 a it's a beautifully made thing and all that. But of course, they can't throw massive dough at it. No, and I think I think that's why it's good because with everyone getting on, because no one's getting sort of more than each other, and really? everyone's in it for the story. You know, yeah. not. People, you know, the big stars of the film aren't necessarily there to because they're getting a million quid. They're there because they really like the script and they like the feel of the film. And so, hence, that kind of transcends for everyone. Everyone's I, I, there for the same reason. I, I went down one day and I was talking to a technician outside. And I said, every time I come down here, everybody's really happy. They all look really content. He said, because they're working on a film they think's worthwhile. Yeah. Well, I've got a to lot, say there, so I've got know. to say that he's, I've got to give massive credit to the director, Sasha Bennett, there, because he... He's got such a lovely way yeah. of creating this atmosphere on set. Yeah. So, you know, he, he was, you know, he, he just has this lovely way about him. So, yeah. Yeah. everyone, all the crew, all the actors. Brilliant. Hustler as well. Because yeah, when, exactly, when me and yeah. him went down, we were thinking, oh, they'll put us at the back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, we'll, get, we'll get a cup of tea yeah. about two o'clock in the afternoon and here's a train ticket. He wouldn't, he wouldn't, he wouldn't <laughs> they could have been He wouldn't shake your hand. It had to be a cuddle. Yeah. You know, just a cuddle. Yeah, it's the lovely. Oh, no, no, she's on the colour at the end of it. I loved it. I tell everybody. It took you two hours to leave because you had to cover everybody. I've got to say, before we go further, the script by Nigel Smith was, I've got to say, he picked up fantastic on the book. Brilliant. Yeah. He's got the real lessons of it. He's done a great job of that. And let's talk, okay, but let's get into the nitty gritty of this here. Now, I know the story because I've talked to you about this, and I don't know if you revealed all before. But the horse racing element of this, it's a horse. That's a massive <laughs> part of the story. I think we can safely say that. I'm not yeah. giving anything away about that one. Is anyone a kind of big fan of the turf amongst the four of you? Not, is not, it, not uh, I. Is that uh, a new element to it? Uh, the, big, the big races, the derbies and your, the Gold yeah. Cups and the Nationals. We've got the National this week. My, 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 oh, looking forward, of course. I've got, got a pound on something. Yeah. Mainly, mainly, I don't know how it works with you. I, perhaps Jason will agree with this. Any, anyone that's wearing claret and blue silks? <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. so it, there's the sweet science of it for me. Yeah. Might as well throw that pound away. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we should get onto this part of the conversation a little bit later on, obviously. No. Yeah. But um, it's a, 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 well, a I, specific affinity with the horses. I grew up in a, a horse racing. My, my dad was actually mad on gambling, but he wasn't a very good gambler. And he had, a, he had major troubles you know, over the years of um, doing every tanner he had. So I, I got a little bit beat out of him. My mum was always, you're not going in the bookies. And, I, and to this day, I do go in, I have, I have a gamble every now and again, but it's, it's something that's just not in me. I, I, you know, it, it doesn't get me. I think the I can, gamble I can, may be a... I can a, have a really nice word. winner. I can have a nice winner and the next day I don't School. think about it. No, oh, I don't think about it. I don't, really? No, not a problem. I, mean, I go racing quite a lot as well. I actually love going to see it live. It's a fantastic day out. Well, there is that. Just explain, actually, because there is a horse called the Mumper. There is now, <laughs> yeah. Do the chicken and egg for me on this book. Horse, horse, yeah, no, no, book first, book first. And then the name of the month is basically a South London slang word for uh, beggar or scrounger, which I was called when I was in the print because I was always begging and scrounging. That is my nickname, it stuck to me. So when I was writing a book, I was trying to think of a name for the horse, and I thought, that's a great name, the month, because no one knows what it means. And it's, you know, they kept saying, what's that mean? Buy the book and find out. That was the, <laughs> that was the selling point. And nice. Then, and then, of course, we do the film, and then the production company buy a horse, and they give it Millwall Blue and White Silks, which is a nice touch, yeah. and they call it the Mumper. Someone chirped in there. Was Callum on yeah, well, it? obviously I insisted on that. When I, <laughs> oh, when I, in the contract. Yeah, I remember you were the, the rider you were looking for. Didn't yeah, you? if you'll pardon the pun, actually. They yeah. told me the blue and white was Spurs. No, nah, wrong oh, one. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I don't know. Have you told anyone, Callum? That you did tell me when I was interviewing for uh, for the magazine that's sitting on the table here, Jocks and Nerds. 
that you could have been a jockey. Mm. Well, you were nearly a jockey. Weren't I you? could have. I could have gone to jockey st- school. I had the opportunity to go. My uncle had a. Is it, like, is it a bit like a fairground ride? If you can go under this hand, <laughs> you could get into <laughs> no, jockey no, school. Right in <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is it one of those? I would have probably. I would have had to have been a jump jockey because I'd have been too yeah, tall a, for a the long flats. Yeah. Yeah. But um, I was. I was. I wasn't too bad at horse riding growing up. My. Not that I'd done it through years, but my uncle bought a house in Portugal and he took tourists out through the mountains on horses and I used to spend my summers there. So I got really good at horse riding. It was where I um, my kept, keep through the summer when I stayed with him. We used to take tourists out, normally a group of young girls that I'd been, <laughs> <laughs> to take out horse riding. And, uh, and he said to me, when I was going so back, that's I was the jump going jockey to, bit, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, jumping on and off a few different frillies. horses. <laughs> yeah, 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 frillies. Yeah, yeah, I think it's, frillies. Do you know what? That went without saying. <laughs> yeah, and then and he oh. said to me, "Go to you could you know why don't you go to jockey school?" When I was going to do theatre at college, and that was kind of where it come from. I, I do like the idea of jockey school, based on the fact that. I like to think that like the uniform is silks. Yeah, is that you all just walk around all day in those kind of like little shiny shirts? That'd be great. Starving. Wouldn't it? <laughs> 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 yeah, all yeah. day, not allowed to eat. Yeah. That's like lunchtime's an ice cube, isn't it? Yeah. That's, yeah. It's yeah. tough. Can I have two, please? <laughs> <laughs> we had a guy, the guy yeah. that was looking after the horse on the film. I can't remember his name actually. He was Paul a really, Murphy. Really nice fella, nice guy. and he was a he was yeah, a jockey, was and he was saying how he had to lose before a race, like something ridiculous, two stone, and he'd done it in a night, where he put, <laughs> put a sweatsuit on and sat in a sauna for about 16 hours or something. And Is it that simple? <laughs> I haven't seen that DVD come out. Where can I buy it? That's Apparently it's need. not actually very simple. It's not, no, no, yeah. Yeah. You, no. not quite that close to death either. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Insane. You reckon, yeah. Jason? Yeah. <laughs> What's interesting as well, because if you put the, the, the other connection here is because with the films you've done and the book you wrote, this whole football and fashion thing, obviously you directly, you know, you've been involved in, in two of the, in, in the films that you've worked in as well. Were you like that as fans as well? That, that, you know, because so much of football and, uh, uh, you know, goes with the kind of fashion iconogra- uh, uh, iconography of it as well, doesn't it? Were you those kind of fans? I think... Dressing I, up? No, I'm not, to be honest. I'm no. kind of... No, not really. Not to shoot that question down. <laughs> no, no. I, I think that does come. I, I think there's been obviously movements in the film I've yeah. done, the firm, which was about cool. the casual movement, and yeah. that was huge. You know, that it came to Liverpool fans going it's, away in Europe. It is old, isn't it? I mean, it's, it's a generation. Our generation, it was, yeah. it wasn't yeah. really yeah. that. You know, it wasn't it was, a big thing for you guys. I think no. I think I think people. I think people do put their best gear on sometimes to go down the football, but I don't, I don't really. Get involved in that. Yeah, we know. But he's still, he's still, uh, he's still. Because <laughs> well, I look good, don't yeah, I? Exactly. Anyway, you don't yeah, exactly. Don't need to. Yeah. You know, I think like you know the films that we've done are set in you know, set in the nineties or the eighties. Sure. I mean? So it, they are, they are sort of period. But yeah, people do do wear certain yeah. sort well, of clothes. Well, it's a football gear, Stone, Stone Island. And yes, exactly. You know, there was like uniform, that. but probably that uniform <laughs> thing did happen a lot in those days. But. I've always wondered if it was a kind of just a, a matter of, of just Sunday best in that kind of classic working class tradition. Is yeah. that you just kind of so whatever happened to be the the, the fashionable clothes at the time? It's an element of that. Well, definitely, it was a three yeah. movement, wasn't it? So when the skinheads were there, they. It's, in terms of the book, where, yeah. what eras did you cover then? We started from 1960 when the maximum wage was abolished and players started getting money, mm. and then they started buying clothes and clothes shops and started, you know. It's keeping up with the that. Joneses a little bit as well, yeah, isn't it? Because you see all your mates and yes. everyone yeah. there, so you want to look... But then the fans know. weren't... You see, uh, uh, what, what was interesting about the book was that the fans, at one point, could dress... You could dress like George Best. Sure. You could go and buy a corduroy jacket. Uh, and also, more than the point as well, you'd shirt. want to dress like a yeah. footballer. Yeah. Yeah. Because before that, you wouldn't want to no. dress no. like a footballer but if you were you a young then, man, would you? Yeah, because you look like a pop star. But what's interesting now is that you can't dress like these footballers because they're earning... Ridiculous amounts of money and yeah. spent, you know. So the fans developed their own thing, just where well, the casual. But with with West Ham, you know, reason why the ICF was formed was because, and the reason why they did have that movement of club. They're still wearing some <laughs> top <top-class laughs> West Ham. I'm, I'm not, not having that. Right 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 I chuck fruit. Oh. The, the, the old movement behind that was just because <laughs> it had to, you know, because it was about the hooliganism and, and, the, and the violence of it. it. Was you know, we'd go on different trains. You know, yeah. take the trains, wear yeah, different clobber, in the city, in the city link, and, you know, wear different clobbers. Str- it, you, you, it was an army, wasn't it? It was an army, yeah. or, you yeah. know, yeah. going to war in a Street uniform. Army. Yeah, yeah, and that's the yeah. problem probably as well, why I don't necessarily like to wear Stone Island to football. It's a bit fuck, it's sort of branded now, it's yeah. fuck wear, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. I, I spoke to this one casual, he was Sheffield United, and he said the reason we got into it was because the, 
the football on the pitch was so dreadful. The most interesting thing was whatever you... Oh, dear. That, it's, it's all true. Sorry, all, Sheffield United. Nice to be great. More of this uh, when we come back. And I th I'm sure we'll get back to the film soon as well. Have your attention, please. Have any of you ever considered buying a racehorse? Could be a life changer. Do you want your life changed then, Banks? Oh, look at this. What, Direct? He's not bad. I reckon we can get him for a grand each. I'm in. But you know what I'm in, Bax? I was planning on wasting that on luxuries, like food. <laughs> Cheer up. We own a racehorse. We are now officially somebody. Don't oh. ask. Ask her out, you idiot. The last fella took her shopping in New York. I can maybe stretch to the Asda in Blackheath. We're all potless. It's a good job we're all going to win a fortune on the knack. God, it's a lot of money, Mark. It's everything I've got. Are you mental? That's thousands. Just shut up and look hard. I always look hard. It's what you decide to do to make you a winner, Mark. And they're off. Maybe I just can't stop looking around corners. When you find what you're looking for, how will you know? Side bet is the film, as you can see there, but unfortunately the cat is out of the bag. Uh, real life has intervened. Football and individual teams have now reared their ugly heads. Uh, we should let, let's let us go round the table. If it hasn't made itself clear so far, actually poor old pal over it has, has made a valid attempt to shoo yeah. all his yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I've got to try somehow, yeah. haven't I? I have uh, a bit. But, uh, but we're Premier like... Premier League, you see, so it's a bit hard to. So we'll, get down, you know. we'll clarify get that, down maybe. to this. Uh, Jason, uh, first of all, uh, your personal football credentials would be? Uh, well, I'm a West Ham fan, but... Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, a West Ham fan. Six. Say that, he and says very, that so very, unshamefully. <laughs> <laughs> he and I'm, he I'm actually is an actor, that. isn't he? Yeah, he's got yeah. it all. Yeah. Yeah. Phenomenal. <laughs> and I'm very proud method, of Method, it's you know, method. And I'm very aware... Are you, are you, is that your ma Is that where you're from? Are you, are you geographically? Yeah, I was born West in. Ham. I was I was born in uh, born in East London, and and I live out in Essex. And there's loads of us out there. So well, you you covered all. Oh, you're all, all West Ham fans are black cab drivers that live in Essex, aren't they? Well, that's a little bit. <laughs> Aren't they? Prejudiced, I think, is going on, <laughs> on the catch. He's so, certainly it's a thing. sweeping caricature that he's gone for, yeah. Yeah. which feel free to answer when we ask Callum. Yeah. So uh, yeah. your, and, and your football team will support be... Support Millwall. You're a Millwall fan, yeah, are you? absolutely. That's, and we all know who you support the book. as well. Yeah. <laughs> that, you know, so I'm don't irrelevant. start trying to tag team I'm, me two on one. <laughs> I'm neither here nor yon in this argument. I'm on my powder, mate. Yeah, no, yeah. Well, so, and, and Millwall, because but obviously, but that's your side of the river yeah, as well, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, of course, South London. Absolutely. Always have been. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Always will be. Uh, and, yeah. Yeah, that's right, because you're still living down that particular part of the world now. Yeah. Poor old pal, love you. <laughs> Go on. What? Whom? The Mighty Cockerel. <laughs> <laughs> Mighty Cockerel, my friend, Tottenham Hotspur. And the reason was because I lived in a place called Bagshot and it was 1967 and I thought I need a team to support. And the radio was on and it said Tottenham Hotspur were playing Derby County in the semi-final of the FA Cup. And I thought whoever wins that game, I'm going to support them. You got so lucky. <laughs> and a week later, <laughs> I know, God. tell me about it. it. Tell me about Killer. it. Bag shot later. Rams, the only <laughs> flag that yeah. ever said bag shot Rams, that would have been. And, and a week later, I was at school and somebody said to me, oh, Spurs are playing Chelsea in the FA Cup. And I went, well, what happened to Tottenham Hotspur? And they went, no, oh, Tottenham Hotspur. So that was it. Nice. We I was going to say Glory Hunter. But <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. So that's why. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. And uh, just to... Uh, well. Uh, uh, Say it with pride, back. Oh, I am, mate. Don't worry. I, I imagine, well, but, but, but not only pride, but remarkable coincidence. Uh, because real backs and, and fake backs yeah. 
<laughs> and producer as well. And could I also say there are some very gratuitous Tottenham Hotspur anti- references yeah. well, in the well, script. Well, even the ones that no one else will notice, but yeah, that you I got did, them. that you I read, got you read yeah. all the coded Little language. Little cockerel limping across the back, you know. <laughs> 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 like, was, I, I saw it. It was West Ham, but Max <laughs> <laughs> insisted. Yeah, yeah, I know. He's uh, uh, the, uh, the Hitchcockian idea yeah. is to have a limping cockerel in all the yeah, films. Yeah, exactly. That's a nice idea, I like that. But, of course, the thing is, there's football all through the book, isn't there? This is the thing. And, obviously, yes. Yeah, Millwall. Ma- Marty Millwall, yeah. Marty Millwall, yeah. And basically taken down the age five or six by my dad, who'd been going there since the early 50s. No option. Absolutely no option. You know, you want to go football, you're coming down there. There was a great line in the book where Mark talks about that his dad said it's the floodlights. Yeah, you, you, you open your curtains, the floodlights you can see will be your team. And I always say to a man, United support with myself. Effing good eyes. <laughs> <laughs> because you know, that is, you know, support your local side. I mean, it's been like since the uh, mid to late 60s. I mean, I was a boy down there, four or five, and it's just a. Uh, Callum once said, you know, once you go down there, there's no, there's no real glory supporting that team because they, you know, they don't never really win much or anything really. FA Cup final. Yeah, we had a great, I mean, a great day, great days out. some great days out. Some great players, but it's just, just the, it's just the, um, the people on the terraces. I love that. I love all that sort of banter. Yeah. And obviously we've got one or two lively boys down here. And, we, uh, and, 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 and the point I would just f- fill the thought in is that the bizarre thing is is that, that Tony Humphreys, yeah. who, who, who was yeah. the ultimate the producer and the, and the catalyst that took it from the book no to idea. the film, yeah. <laughs> Millwall. But yeah. you all sat within two yards of each other, did you? Yeah, literally, I can see, I can see Tony every game across the pitch. Like He's in the, he's in the posh seats. I'm in the... Oh, uh, well, yeah. the and Herberts. it's easy when there's only four of them there. Not only an actor, but timing. Yeah. Yeah. Timing. But he, um, he, he got hold of the book and the mumper and he rang me and said uh, one of the first questions he asked me was who's your Paul? I said me a wall and he said that'd make it a lot easier. Yeah. So this, straight this away, you know, and I had to go to these meetings. Film developing yeah. career though, couldn't it? If yeah. he's gonna well, ask everybody who is doing it. Say that, are. we've got Daniel Day Lewis, Gary yeah. Oldman. Yeah. Quality actors, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Are, are they? Are yeah, they the Lions, yeah, yeah, Lions, mate. Shall we? Should we even bother to start with the all-star yeah. celebrity West End? Russell <laughs> Brand is it? Russell, <laughs> Russell Brand. Mate, no, no not Russell Brand, mate. No. He's in, he, he, what, he's Have in, you seen his films? No, he's in a movie. No, I like him. He's funny, but. I'm you, sorry. I was going to start with David Essex. I don't even know <laughs> what we're talking about. Russell yeah. Brand. Lo- that's it. You've Ray, probably got a few round the square. Big Ray. <laughs> big Ray. <laughs> big Ray. Ray. Exactly. No one's. Ray Winston. No, uh, no, no. No one's. I can't. Have, I can't. He's a good top boy, Ray. Can't, can't, can't you do can't do that. Can I just. Can I just. For the mighty cock, we'll put forward Mr. Peter Cook. Very oh, nice. Oh, right, nice bloke. Right. Yeah, yeah, no, right, no, fair right, enough. Trump card, though. The only Soho 60s one that we've managed to squeeze in there. Well played, <laughs> sir. <laughs> I did, was, did you have, I know it's acting and whatnot and all that, but we, we, we alluded to earlier, you know, there's a film that you're a, you're, you're, you're a West Ham fan. Yeah. Did, was it? <laughs> I know it's, it's probably. A, it sounds like a stupid question, but was there any kind of little seeds of worry in there when you were, when you were doing that? Or even picking the film? No, not really. Well played. Not at all. Because it you know where your art belongs. Yeah. That was your uh, worst performance, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. No, because... Very unconvincing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because the director's a Mad Millwall supporter. Really? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, so, yeah, I forgot about him, yeah. So, uh, oh, Nick, yeah, yeah, Nick, Nick Love. Love. So, Nick Love is, is yeah. Millwall, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah, so he yeah. said, look, we'll get for it together. It's going to be tough. <laughs> <laughs> did, did, you, did you have sort of like, hey, Amy? Otherwise, oh. 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 oh, as a foot soldier, film we nearly stopped because they got a load of West Ham boys, you know, it was a Cartman Leach, and, and he got loads of his mates down there, and had to, we had to have this big tear up and they, that they divide the teams and it was Fulham versus West Ham and they had to split it evenly you know 50% Fulham fi- it nearly was chaos because the boys were going well we ain't doing Fulham mate we ain't, we ain't <laughs> we there's no, no way no. To, it's, it's too much of a stretch I'm yeah, not going to have a bed for Fulham happening, they done the same thing on the, when we done the football factory we had all different boys come down Arsenal and a few Tottenham and Millwall and West Ham I don't think there was many West Ham but <laughs> some turn up um, <laughs> well, you wanted it real, didn't no, you? No, and they mixed and they mixed it all up to make it, you know, more fun. It's an intriguing notion, is it? Is that you want mm. them to, you, you get them in there to play this role, and, and you say, but of course, you know, it, it's all faking it, lads. But by the same token, make it look convincing. So yeah. because you you go to that place, wouldn't you? Mm. But I suppose if it's you know when they mixed it up, it was each other's mates, so no one wanted to hurt each other. No, no, so much. Like that. It was all good it, fun. I, I, is it difficult for you two as uh, as actors? To, and to be going along the games. I mean, we, you know, we talk about that. I mean, is, is there an element of that, especially because you've been in football films? Is it is it problematical? Well, I go Mill every week. Never really at all. You no. never go any hassle. 
No, not at all. I mean, I've dear stalker, obviously. Clearly, I've gone to, it. I've been going to Millwall for such a long time. I mean, I, I think you get that some people go now, like, what are you doing down here? But yeah. because I've become a little bit more well known, but really I've been going just as long as everyone else. And now yeah. you're now you're recognised. They think, what's he doing? Johnny here? come like yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 glory hunter. But um, more, I think <laughs> glory hunter, <laughs> intriguing. I think it's away. I think away games you're probably a little bit more cautious Vulnerable. where you go. Yeah, but. Not really. But I think more outside of the thing, because I remember being with you and, uh, you know, the, the trouble coming up to, to it was yeah. you and people just having a go, you think you're tough, you know, we're actors. You get that. In a film, you know, and... Uh, yeah. yeah, it depends. I suppose it depends as well, the environment you put yourself in. Yeah. If you're going to some dodgy boozer in East London, yes. you're probably <laughs> going to get... dodgy around here. Or, no, or in, you Especially know, any part of London. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, but yeah. any part I'm of London, you're going to get... There's a level of common shit. sense that we all have to operate on yeah. that level, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Do, you, do, do you go much? Do you get to go over to West Ham? You know what? Just... I feel bad. I haven't been over there this year, but I normally go to the away games. Like last year, I went to two away games. That's because you only like to see us win. Well, exactly, yeah. So exactly, what, what away yeah. games? Tottenham, Chelsea? No, 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 no. <laughs> we, we go all over. Stoke we've been. And, um, but there's a group Did you come actually. to Millwall? No, I didn't go to the movie. <laughs> <laughs> I was sensible. I was sensible. No. But no, there's a group of us, about um, 30 of us, and uh, all out in Essex. And, and a guy called uh, Martin Gow, and he's a lovely fellow, and he arranged it all. There's a load of us go away. So, yeah, it's always a good laugh. So, okay, well, well, now that we've talked about us, we might as well, you know, give you know the rarefied atmosphere of, of vaguely near the top of the <laughs> of the Premier League, and I okay. say vaguely based on the on on the uh, spiralling out of control that that is going on at uh, White Hart Lane. What's what's the story? <laughs> the story there, my friend, is that um, we're playing a little Bugs Bunny thing. We've got the carrot. We're going like that, do other, and boom, we'll be gone. Don't worry about it. Is that us. what you've done to Arsenal? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's, That's what we did in Millwall and West Ham. <laughs> yeah, that full sense of security is, is yeah. excellent. I'll be honest, I, I, I love watching football, uh, Tottenham this year. Yeah, I thought they yeah, played yeah, amazing football. Just, I, I'm gutty for them. I don't, I don't know if, I don't know if they're going to make it. We're starting to run. It's, it's, it feels a bit running out of steam, but we've got Chelsea semi-final on Sunday, and I, I think that, 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 that will determine... The rest of our season. Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking for a free. It was Harry in England thing, though, wasn't it? That as soon as that happened, yeah, I, I, that, yeah. And I mean, There's I so love much Harry. talk that it's it's complete coincidence. Look, well, look, what a when coincidence! Harry, when Harry, when they started talking about Tottenham, when, both started really strong. And yeah, very true. It's, it's very hard dips. to do it, but when they started talking about Harry, the first game after Harry for England was Newcastle. We beat them five nil. Yeah, yeah but then was know, it, when was the when, the key game? I remember watching it. Was a King Man City game. Where Tottenham should definitely have got a result yeah. out of it. Yeah, Balotelli stamped on the phone. He missed that one at the end, but, and, yes. and that was a key yeah, game. Yeah, and then absolutely. after that, he just sort of. Absolutely. Well, Balotelli stamped on Scott Parker, didn't yeah. he? Then got yeah. the penalty. penalty. Yeah. And then it was 4 all, was it? Or no, they no, they beat us, three. didn't they? Beat us 4 3. And Defoe missed by that. Yeah. It was a bit of hard luck there, I suppose. It was, yeah. yeah. Plus, yeah. we had Harry's heart attack, Harry's trial. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I feel your pain. How about the people? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, really <laughs> sympathise with. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah, yeah, struggling for fourth yeah. place in the Premier League. Yeah. I'm welling up. Well, up yeah. 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 Um, but you see, the trouble with West Ham is you want to be us, don't you? You want to play glamorous, attractive football. You want to be up there in the Champions League. You want to be up there. Uh, uh, I, 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 I And you can't down. do it. Can I defer to my learned colleague at the end of the season? Can I say, when I gave you a compliment here for this season? Like it's been here for the last 20 years. <laughs> now, that has not been the case. But you yeah. do think you're owed it. <laughs> yeah, they do, don't they? No, oh, you there do. We go. West, yeah. no, but West Ham have got a... Come on, we've got a big got issue. We've got a claim Oh, Bo Bobby Moore. <laughs> no, oh, not Bob. just... Not just enough of a record. No, not just Bobby Moore, but look at the players that the club produced. Be honest, for yeah. England as well. And look how well they've done at other clubs. Look at the players. Look at the players. We think we'll take them off you, don't we? But no, West Ham do it. I know you're going to mock you, but West Ham do have a tradition of playing good football. And this season, I, I have you hated really it under Allardyce? Yeah, it's, been, it's, been, well. you know, it's been really, it's been terrible. If you, know, you get up, if yeah. you get up there, if you get promoted, will you then go, Sam? You are a genius, 100%. and we love you. No, I can no, tell you no, that no, no, for the West Ham fans as well. Lord even if we, even if we somehow manage to come first, <coughs> this year, yeah. no West Ham fan would turn around and, and say that. Oh God bless! By the way, God bless Joseph for even thinking that thought. No, no, the problem you've got. The title is still available. Allardyce is the man that kills you. Allardyce is the man that will keep you in the Premier League. Well, he gets in it's the first place. It's oh. going to be the problem. I tell you what, sage words from a man with a, such a, a young head on young soul, <laughs> shoulders, <laughs> and yeah, yeah. yeah. it's frightening. Who'd have thought? Uh, no doubt this debate will carry on uh, during the break, uh, but fear not, we'll be picking up in a moment's time anyway for the last part of the film show. Outside bet is the film. Uh, the debate, though, has turned into a melee. 
Uh, but yeah, quite right. A too, melange. Because we, we, yeah, but that's right. Yeah. It's, it's, a a, it's a melange of football uh, uh, conversation at the stage. I'll have to admit uh, that word. That's was funny. there a lot of this? I, I suppose there has to be. Was, is, are you the two football fans on the set, or was the we old are, ones into yeah. it as well? Yeah. No, it was mainly Jason and I, I think. We was. We was the most passionate about football. <laughs> and, we, and it's not as fun when it's just two of you. you know? yeah, oh, no, yeah, no, no, yeah. no. No, but we, we knew each other before. Because you territory so early. Yeah, we yeah. Knew that, I knew that he was West Ham and United as Millwall. Yeah. So we ha- we, we've done this actually before. Yeah. When we've done a film they take me out on the road, it's like a routine. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. it's, it's a double act. Same yeah. as Greavesy. Yeah. 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 It could be the few. What, do, do, do you look forward to the Europeans with any uh, excitement or anticipation at all? Are you international fans? Football in the summer is going to be brilliant, isn't it? It's, I mean, when there's no World Cup or no European yeah. Cup, what do you do in the I summer? Know, know. It's going to be brilliant. Olympics. <laughs> yeah, but, <laughs> we've, like, we've, like, but we've also got that as well. It's, it's, it's a perfect setup, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's brilliant. We've got, I mean, I'm a sports fan across yeah, the board there's not really anything I don't watch sport wise so it's going to be great the tennis and then you've got the Olympics and the European Cup we always well. do that thing of you know believing that we, we've got just a chance say you know, just about to say it, that you know, and it always lets us down but this time round yeah I've, but no, no not, even, <laughs> not even I'm just thinking that we have we, you know there's some talented young English players coming through, you know, and I think it's going to be exciting, you know. I mean, I don't know how many, I mean, it's a shame that Jack Hamm- Wilshaw, I don't know if he's going to... It's, no. it's how many actually get a show, isn't it? Get of course, show, it depends yeah. on whoever the managers d- d- actually take them on as well, it's going to be part the of The youngsters, that. give the youngsters a go. I think I'm absolutely right. Like that, just give do them you a play the England ticket or do you... No, Italy, you go, no, Italian. You go Italy, Italian. 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 Well, yeah. Italian, then. We, we when, should when, just point out, in case anyone noticed, that Paul here works. You fly, you're more Azuri coloured, aren't you, in these situations? Yes, I am. Well, I, when I was a kid, I got offered a, a country which won the World Cup three times or a country which won it once. So. There's, a, there's a recurring thing. You see I'm this? Really, <laughs> semi-final FA Cup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Just won the World Take Cup. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, have a, I'll have a go with him. Yeah. Yeah. He's a real right. flick a coin. Flick a coin. Yeah. Uh, in, in terms of the, 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 the horse racing, now you mentioned earlier on that you, you, you've gone along and you've enjoyed the, the horse racing, uh, which is actually something that not a lot of people... <laughs> done. I, 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 of course, it's I, I ridiculous. Day. Loads of people go. Yeah. But I think perhaps people who've only ever seen all races on the telly don't quite understand the the atmosphere that goes on there. Is, is it great fun as an event? It's a great. Obviously, you, you, it'd be even better getting a winner in the first race because obviously it pays for your day, which is yeah. always a touch. But yeah, the social side of it, the food, the drinking. I've been stag dudes and they've been they've been real real laughs. Six races, do all your money, get drunk, and then come home. Brilliant day, out, you know. Yeah. But it's a really nice day. It's a nice vibe there. Um, we're yeah. going the day after the film, aren't we? Yeah, there's a, there's a race day. There's a race day at Sandown the we're day after the morning. film yeah, comes going. out. The yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, what, the morning after the night yeah. before? Yeah. Well, well yeah, after the after the uh, it goes oh. on general release, yeah. The, yeah. So the, which goes on, by the way, we should just mention. Uh, it comes out on the Friday the 27th. Friday yeah. the 27th, that's good. And I know, but did, did, you, did you two boys end up going along to any racing at all? Were you as I a direct did. result? I, I didn't. We filmed at a load of, load of race courses, obviously, but I didn't get to go, no. Yeah, I went to Ascot, went to Royal Ascot with uh, Jenny Agata. She was given an award there and she invited me to go with her. Really? Yeah. You look uh, great in the top hat. Yeah, we was in the Royal Enclosure. Don't ask me how I got there, but I was there. <laughs> so, 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 obviously, you know, you're acting alongside her, but were you expecting a, a phone call like that? No, not at all. It was out It was out of the blue. And the, the funny thing was, I was out. It was late at night. It was about eight, nine o'clock. And I was out walking the dog and I come home to my mum's and she said, oh, Jenny Agatha's just been on the phone love like that, yeah? <laughs> and I said, oh, it's like 10 o'clock. I'll, I'll ring her tomorrow, you know what I mean? Mum said, no. Call it's, it's the Queen. It's the Queen. Call it it's cool. She said, it's important. It's something about Ascot. Yeah. <laughs> and I said, oh, look, I'm sure it's not gone. to go down went. there now, Mum. I'll ring her tomorrow. <laughs> That's right, yes. yeah. <laughs> it's the night race. Yeah. 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 See, the uh, three yeah, o'clock. o'clock. <laughs> three o'clock. Yeah. Three o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. It was brilliant. And we had a love, we had a brilliant day out that day. We went and had the, the meal and the drink and whatever else. Didn't get a winner, but... Always get a winner. Always get a winner. No. no always, always. Saturday, no? Always get a winner. Stand, stand very close to me, indeed. Yeah. So, uh, the anticipation of the film, obviously, is there. Are, are, are you looking forward to people seeing this? Because, of course, it is a, a, a unique film experience from the British cinema of recent times, isn't it? I think this is the big point, isn't it? I think... I think that sometimes, you know, we you know, we had the credit crunch and, you know, people have enough to worry about in their normal mm. day lives, you know. I think it's nice just to be able to go 
to, to see a film and provide with a, a good feeling, yeah. Yeah. I mean, a yes. positive feeling. And, that, um, and actually, I think, you know, so I really hope that people go out and, and search for the film and go and find a film. And, and I'm, look, I'm an advocate of supporting British film, you know, obviously, you know, I mean, but I, I do You're somewhat involved in yourself yeah, on the general basis, Jason. Yeah, yeah exactly. But no, yeah. But I do, you know, I think that when we do it right, we, we, do, we do films really well. I think, you know, this is, this is definitely a film to, to go, and go and see. You know? Yeah. I mean, this because of course you won't necessarily. This is a good point, isn't it? You won't necessarily have seen these kind of scripts coming over your desk all the time. You, we know that what you've done before in terms of films, you kind of, I guess, you see quite a lot of that. It must have made a pleasant surprise when you saw it. Yeah, that's why I think I was really, really keen on doing it and really enjoyed doing it. And I've, I've seen the film and I've enjoyed the final product of it as well. I think, it's, I think it's a really good film. I do. I believe it's a got really that good spirit. Film. Yeah, I think so. I hope everyone goes and sees it, and it does really well. But. As a, of a, on a selfish, on a more <laughs> selfish sort of point of view, I'm pleased with it for myself. I thought good. it was really yeah, good. Yeah, yeah very that's good. Important. Yeah. And I suppose this is the beauty of it, lads, isn't it? You two naive young fools <laughs> going in and writing this feel-good story about you know working class South Londoners and, and, and taking a bit of a punt and that, you know there's there's some tears along the way. Mm. Mm. That wasn't a formula that was going to be guaranteed for success at all, was it? <laughs> we couldn't get a publishing deal for the book. You know, yeah. I had to self-publish the book at the start. No one would even believe in the book, let alone the film. So yeah. where it's come from to where it is now is a million miles. And it's yeah. uh, like like uh, the guys I've seen the film, Really, pr I'm really proud of it. I'm proud of it anyway, but I'm really proud of what they've done with it. They st stuck to the, uh, the ethos of the book. And, they, you know, it's a good... A, a good vibe, a very good vibe about every everyone involved. Even the day we all got great, you know, you know, always do me when we when we <laughs> when we all come. So yes, I, I, I really hope people enjoy it. You know, I'm looking forward actually to the sequel when you're all in your best bib and tuck, and you go. I, I, I hope someone throws the camera across that when you're all looking smart at the at the, at the post film release <laughs> uh, uh, race day. That's going to be good. Yeah, stuff, that'd be good. That'd be good day. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you'll enjoy that. I think. I, I think. I think. You're yeah. going to do proper Beano style. No, I think the actors have got a box. I, mean, I think the oh, writers. Oh, we're, yeah. we're track side. I don't think we're going to yeah. get in a box. I might have a, have a scream up about that. I'm sure we'll up. come down and yeah. rough it. Could you? No, we're going to come up there, mate. Could you? Could you say hello? Could you? We'll send someone over. Yeah. Oh, they're so good, aren't they? I love them. And as this, as the warmth and the feel good factor just just comes. Yeah. Oh, like we were saying, we was all in it together. Yeah. 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 The spirit is gorgeous. Yeah. I'm sorry, yeah. so, lads. I'll, I'll leave you for this kind of general group hugging thing. <laughs> and thank you all for watching. That was the film show outside bet on April the 27th. Here's one more taste for you before we go. See you later. Can I have your attention, please? Have any of you ever considered buying a racehorse? Could be a life changer. Do you want your life changed, then, Bugs? Oh, look at this. Well, Direct, he's not bad. I reckon we can get him for a grand each. I'm in. But you know what I'm in, Bax? I was planning on wasting that on luxuries, like food. <laughs> Cheer up. We own a racehorse. We are now officially somebody. Oh. Don't ask. Ask her out, you idiot. The last fella took her shopping in New York. I can maybe stretch to the Asda in Blackheath. We're all potless. It's a good job we're all going to win a fortune on the knack. God, it's a lot of money, Mark. It's everything I've got. Are you mental? That's thousands. Just shut up and look hard. I always look hard. It's what you decide to do that makes you a winner, Mark. And they're off. Maybe I just can't stop looking around corners. When you find what you're looking for, how will you know? Stay ahead of the game with Sports Tonight Live. Don't miss a thing. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Search for Sports Tonight Live on Facebook and like our fan page. Follow Sports Tonight TV on Twitter and tweet us your thoughts and opinions. Sports Tonight Live, it's the platform for the fans.